Okay, um, I have received um, the replacement seat cover um, for the XL250 um, and I was very excited this morning to try it on. But I do have a problem with it at the moment and that is that I don't think the templates they're cutting it to are quite right. Now I'm not going to say the name of the company um, just yet because I need to get hold of them and see how they're going to um, deal with this issue. But the problem I'm facing is that um, this is the seat base here, running here, and this is the way the seat cover is cut. And it runs high. Now it's the same at the other side. The seat cover runs high at this point and there just isn't enough stretch in the material to be able to pull it down and round in order oh, excuse me there just isn't enough material to be able to stretch it round under here um, and be able to staple it into place um, which is a little bit of a concern because um, the only way i can think of doing it would be to actually bend this fabric down this way but that puts a lot of stress on those stitches and also leaves the stitch line in an area where water can run into it um, the other side issue is that the seat cover is just a smidge too long. I'd say probably, by the feel of it, maybe one and a half centimetres in length too long. Which means that this seam here, which should really be at the, at the point at the top corner, uh, ends up having to be folded down under, leaving a rather rounded surface and doing some strange things with the fabric. Um, so I'm trying to get hold of the gentleman who produces these. Um, he says they're handmade in the UK, so I am toying with the idea as I have a few days off of um, offering to bring the seat down to him and perhaps they can, um, uh, if they deem it to be an issue, um, perhaps they can uh, change their templates to allow for this corner. And it may also um, give us an insight into why the last owner cut the corners off. Maybe the same sort of issue was um, presenting itself and uh, causing a problem. Uh, the other thing is it could be me. Um, I mean I don't know how far I want to stretch this fabric, how much pull I can put on it and how tight it can go. Um, so I will have a chat with uh, the gentleman and see what he says, uh, see if we can come up with some kind of solution to the problem. Anyway, that's me out. Sorry for the delays in this build. It's um, it's one. Uh, it's just like a, a stalling point at the moment. The seat, um, that and the painting, waiting for the weather to warm up. So, uh, but once these two are done, we should be done.